Oh, look at this huge pot. Mamma mia. This is unbelievable. That can contain 3,000 kilos of plot. Ozbeck meat is next level. Buongiorno guys, it's Max Sinestra, I'm in Tashkent, Uzbekistan. I'm super excited because I've been wanting to visit this country for a very long time and today is gonna be awesome. Andiamo! Uzbekistan welcomes you with its ancient Silk Road cities, breathtaking Islamic architecture, diverse landscapes and warm hospitality. This journey is all about immersing myself in the art of the country through its incredible cuisine. I'm so pumped for this adventure. Let's go! To start the day, we came to a legendary spot for the national food, Plov. Let's go and see the preparation. This place is amazing. Oh, look at this huge pot. Mamma mia! This is unbelievable. We just came to this super legendary place Besh Kazan to film the preparation of the national dish plov. They already chop carrots, yellow and orange carrots. You see chickpeas simmering. I think there is lamb fat inside. And look how huge it is. This is this is a jacuzzi. You can host a party here, a plov party. The smell coming out of it, so aromatic. They add in some raisins as well. Beautiful. And look at the firewood. Oh my goodness, this is huge. This is like a house. You can camp over there. No wonder you can cook 400 kilos of plov. And the chef just told us that that can contain 3,000 kilos of plov. Unbelievable. But right now they're cooking 400, which to me is still a huge, a big number. Rice goes in. 400 kilos of plov. This is crazy. This is definitely the ultimate plov here in Uzbekistan. Uzbek national dish. This is crazy. <laughs> Look at the fluffy rice, completely infused with sweet carrots, lamb, fat, onion, raisins. Look at the meat at the bottom. Absolutely insane. After mixing everything evenly, the chef covers it with trays and lets it cook for another hour. And in the meantime, let's see how they make the bread. They're showing us how they make the bread, how they bake it in the oven. Look how deep this huge thunder is. They have fire down in the middle and they stick the bread on the wall, on the side. Definitely people here love bread and I do too. This is almost an attraction here in Uzbekistan. They really take seriously the art of making bread and the shape of it. Look, it's very elegant. The bread is ready. It's going to pull it out right from the oven. Super fresh, hot. Oh, look at the color. Golden, crispy looking with sesame on top. Or oh, you can really smell those toasted sesame on top. Nice bread. Oh, attenzione, is ready. The plug is ready. Now it will be pouring all the rice on the side. Look at all this juicy meat. It looks so succulent and tender that will fall off the bone immediately. Oh, it's collecting the meat. Here we are, starting plating the plov. And now I'm getting angry, I need to get a plate. Let's go. Finally, after almost four hours, I have <laughs> this amazing looking plov with the delicious lamb on top. We have kaze, or sausage. Take a look, or sausage. Then we have quail egg, dolma, grape leaf, stuffed with the rice and spices. And look at the rice, fluffy rice with raisins, onion, yellow and orange carrots. Ooh. This is actually my breakfast, first meal of the day. Let's go for it, buon appetito.
Mamma mia. <laughs> oh, the meat is super tender. You know what? The rice is al dente and I love it. You feel it between your teeth. You have these carrots that completely melt in your mouth. They're kind of sweet and the raisin explodes in your mouth. It's a joy of sweetness. I'm super excited to try this or sausage. Mm. Mm. It's so sweet. Fatty and lean on one side. So sweet. Oh, I did not expect the sweet and salty with a salty aftertaste. Let's try the dolma. You can just easily mix and match however you want. Mmm, gives a nice refreshing touch of the onion, tomatoes, nice acidic kick to it. And I love the contrast between uh, cold and hot. This is absolutely insanely delicious. This is illegal without a doubt. We just got a lovely naan. Oh. Let's always break it. Let's just enjoy it together with my plov. Mm -hmm. So soft, pillowy, and the toasted sesame on top truly makes a difference. If this is the start of our Osbeck adventure, I don't even want to imagine what is ahead of us. This is absolutely incredible. Now we're going to eat something extremely unique and delicious you don't want to miss. Upon arrival, I noticed locals lining up for their food. Got me wondering, what's the deal with this dish? The only way to satisfy that curiosity was by stepping into the kitchen and witnessing the magic behind this creation. It starts by adding the fat. Oh my god, this is the most unique samsa. Dumba? Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> this is the special Dumba. Tail fat of a sheep. This will give uh, extra flavor. Oh, onion. <laughs> Going completely stops it with onion. Now it's time for the meat. Mole? Uh -huh. Mole, okay. That's sheep. He scales everything. 165 grams of meat. That's a lot of meat. I think the meat has been uh, marinated. Maybe one day of marination. Oh, now, cuz. Cuz. Horse meat, or sausage. <laughs> we got it all. Super mega packed. He had some peppers in to give an extra bitterness and freshness to it. This is really the ultimate samsa. I've never seen anything like that before. And watching the whole process makes you understand what goes behind every single dish. The tomato goes in, extra color. These are ribs. Oh my god, amazing! Take a look. Usually ribs is the tastiest part of the animal. Meat by the bone is uh, absolutely the best, especially with the, with the fat. To me, that's my favorite. So they use super thin dough with sesame on top to seal the samsa, the meat, and then they will put it in the tandoor. And what will come out, pure joy. And the pies are going in. One by one, he places them in this uh, metallic web. This is absolutely insane. The chef just placed all the samsa inside, all the pots inside, and they will be ready very, very soon. And I can't wait to taste this unique Cosa Samsa here in Tashkent. Oh, the samsas are ready. <laughs> Amazing. Take a look inside. So they let it cook it twice, one outside and one inside. Oh God, this looks amazing. Look how golden crispy looking. He cuts it. It's amazing. It's hot. Oh my God, this is amazing. Look at the meat. Thank you. Here we are. Look. Oh my goodness. It's like a soup with horse meat, sheep, pepper, onion, fat at the bottom. Mamma mia! This is the ultimate samsa soup. Look how tender the meat is with all the fat. Oh my goodness, look how tender. All right, I need to give it a try. Buon appetito. Oh. 
Oh. Mm. It's so good. Oh my god. So delicious. Mazali, eh? Mm. Dry up. So good. Mazali. Oh. Okay. Let's take a piece of the dough. Let's put it on, on top of it. A bit of the meat. Let's dip it into the broth. Mmm. So good. The meat is super tender. And you got the taste of uh, toasted sesame on top. That truly makes a difference. Now I want to try the horse meat. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's completely different. It's a little bit sweet, super tender and lean. This gets definitely messy because of the dough, but the messier the better. You know it. This is insane, insane. Now for lunch. We added to a popular place here at the city center where they make uh, traditional Uzbek food. Let's go. Oh, look at the soups. Look at the soups. Hello. Salam alaikum. Oh, this is a uh, uh, kuza shurba. Lamb soup. Cook on these pots, steaming hot with veggies, potato, carrots, and meat inside. See, this is with. I believe with tomato special sauce inside, maybe some chili. I can see that the greens, veggies, meat, and over here is a bit different, more clear with bay leaves. I'll get one for sure. And over here, oh, oh thank you so much. <laughs> Halim. Oh, this is amazing. Let's stop. You're strong. <laughs> I don't want problems. Wrestling. <laughs> Over here, they serve other national dishes. I believe this is lamb with potato. <laughs> Look at this. Hello, chef. Salam alaikum. Uh, Italia. Yeah. Nice to meet you. So we have noodles. I think this is fried lagman, fried noodles with meat. This is a sausage. Yes. This is a uh, Case or kuza? Oh, these are uh, sausage meat from Austin Tassin. Beef. Oh, beef. Oh. That's beef. A huge plate. <laughs> Not in. Oh. Uh, Beef, meat and horse meat. Mixed. Uh, mixed. Yes. Beautiful. This is one of the many really interesting dishes here in Uzbekistan. So chopped pasta with uh, mixed beef and horse meat and onion on top. Amazing, I can't wait to try it out. That's one of the delicacies we can eat for. She's plating one for us. I mix with my hand, okay. I try in front of her. Oh, oh my God, so good, oh. It's quite oily, it's unique. So they complement each other so well. The horse meat is not strong at all. They all blended very well. And they say that it's good to be eaten with your hands. Beautiful. Rahmat. We ordered a bunch of dishes. Here we have halim. We saw it before. This is made with uh, pounded wheat, meat, spices, and chickpeas. Then we tried it before with the lovely lady. Here is noren, chopped pasta means so we have a mix of beef and horse meat onion and spices on top and then lamb soup oh my goodness look at this gummi rahmat and over here apart from the soup we have gumma so fried dough stuffed with sheep trachea nose and ears okay but i really want to start with this it's a really warm soup so we slowly a bit of the broth very nice. A piece of the potato, a piece of the meat, and let's go for it. The meat is incredible. I realized that the meat here in Uzbekistan has an incredible taste. So the lamb has a very, very unique, distinct flavor. And with the natural fat attached to it, that takes a taste of the meat to another level. And then the fact that it's low cooked on this clay pot in a low heat makes the meat even more tender and flavorful. Let's try Ali now. I never tasted it before. Okay, let's get a bit of it. Mm. 
Wow, definitely tastes like lamb. This is really comforting. I think only after this can make you feel full for the entire day. We got chickpeas, wheat, lamb, oil, spices. I can imagine myself on a cold winter night having this next to the fireplace. Doesn't get any better than this. Over here we have nori. Mm. This is a cold dish. See with this pasta we have beef and horse meat. If you never try horse meat, don't expect it to be too strong or extreme. If you're willing to, it's so delicious. It doesn't have a strong flavor at all. And our last dish, this is gumma. So inside we have, oh, I can see rice, spices. As far as I know, sheep nose here and trachea blended all together and super mega deep fried. Mm -hmm. It's quite unique. He has a bit of an organ flavor, not too strong. It tastes like uh, liver, but a bit more intense. The consistency is like a pate, very creamy. And now I want to dip it. Or maybe just put the sauce on the top. Oh, let's see. It's not spicy at all, but the taste is quite strong. It's quite a unique dish. I don't know if it's for me, but it's quite unique. And I'm happy that I've tried it. Uzbekistan offers top quality meat and an equally impressive selection of freshwater fish. Ready to savor the flavors? Let's give it a taste. That knife is so sharp. A bit of salt, mixes it, ready to cook. <laughs> and this is finally ready. Oh yes, crispy looking, golden looking. Nice. Rahmat chef, Rahmat. All right, let's go upstairs and let's enjoy it. <laughs> Look, we were a lovely decoration. All right, let's squeeze some lemon on top of this delicious fish. Let's grab a piece. Oh, so hot. This is fresh water fish. Let's give it a try. Oh. Oh, so hot, so meaty, juicy. The lemon definitely gives an extra kick. Nice, meaty, flaky. Now, what I've been given is this sauce, special sauce that I've been told that I need to dip the fish in. Let's give it a try. Mmm, tomato, maybe garlic, herbs. It's a bit sour as well. This definitely kills the fizziness from the oil because it has been deep fried but with the help of the sauce the bread and the lemon it makes it enjoyable i haven't had fish in a very long time and this is quite enjoyable they just uh, offered us uh, all the meal come and visit this place they are incredibly friendly the food is nice the cook with the art this is hospitality of uzbek people our day isn't complete without savory some delicious shashlik we came to this local family restaurant crafted these simple yet mouth-watering kebabs that are an absolute must try. Look at this amazing kebab! Shashlik. This is beef and lamb. Kuza. Mol. Mol. I believe that's beef. With oh, fat. Yeah. Mamma mia! Ozbek meat is next level. I cannot wait to have a huge plate of these delicious Ozbek kebabs. Let's take a look at these fresh kebabs. <laughs> so this is liver, look, liver with fat. Then we have ground meat. Then we have marinated sheep kebab with fat, with dumba. And uh, over here we have chicken. We've been recommended this place by a friend of ours. It's a family-run business. I'm super excited to have a feast, a kebab feast. Rahmat. <laughs> oh my God, look at these kebabs. Here we have kima, ground meat with bread in it. This is quite unique. Then we have sheep and fat. This one is a spiced liver and fat. And then we have chicken, tabuk, marinated chicken. The first one I need to go for sheep and fat. This looks phenomenal. Let's grab a piece of meat and a piece of fat. This is gumba. It's a specific sheep that uh, grows here in Uzbekistan. It's a uh, tail fat 
Oh yes, you got nice and juicy and charred it is. Buon appetito. Mamma mia. This is a 10 out of 10, super juicy. The fat <laughs> completely melts in your mouth, it's pure butter. Mamma mia. And you can really taste the fact that it's cooked over charcoal. Oh, it's nice, savory, salty. Moving on, let's try the kima, the ground meat, with a bit of bread in it. So I don't know what they mean by that, but I think they mix spices and bread. I want to try with this fresh bread right here. Let's open it up. That's what locals do. And just for today, I'll be one of them. Get some onion as well. Hoopala. Mmm. It's almost like creamy. It dissolves in your mouth completely. Look how juicy. You don't even have to chew. I can't really taste the bread in it, but the meat is fantastic. I believe this is beef, super juicy, and the bread. We are in Uzbekistan. You know for a fact that bread is fantastic. And last one, this spicy liver. Liver covered in spicy. Look how red it is. <laughs> and fat. I love this fat so much. It's not spicy at all. Actually, what they marinated with, or they sprinkled on top, adds a bit of the flavor a bit of um, saltiness and savoriness to it. Liver has that kind of consistency, pretty much like heart. As soon as you bite into it, it gets soft and creamy. And this is definitely like this. This has been a, an incredible full day of eating. First day here in Tashkent has been uh, memorable. We've been wanting to come here for a very long time. We finally made it. We had plov, we had fish, delicious kebabs and amazing national dishes and the hospitality. Just amazing people, friendly, welcoming and uh, just so nice, really. And uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, by the way. And uh, see you next Sunday. Ciao!